So let's take a uh, G major pentatonic scale. We got G, A, B, D, E, G, right? So you want to do that and then take the next note and start from the next note and play it. That sounded weird. Start from the next note and play the rest of the scale. Do, 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 do. exercise it sounds great too so your notes i wish i could put them up here right now so g a b d e g a b d e all right remember those letters those notes g a b d e and that's the octave it's g again okay so g a b d e that's the five note pentatonic scale now let's go to the next we got a b What's the next? D, E, G. Okay. All right, then we're gonna hit that octave too. It's actually pretty simple. So let's group all those notes together. We got G, A, B, D, E. Now we have A, B, D, E, G, and then A. Okay, so now we're starting from the A and then we're finishing it out that five note pattern. All right, now we're gonna just keep doing this and taking it up and taking it up and taking it up until we finish all five notes, okay? So that's the way we would do it. So A, B, D, E, G, A. So we have. Okay, so that's a, that's a form of, we're still playing the pentatonic scale, but we're playing it out of place, almost like playing the modes for a pentatonic scale, but it sounds like twice as dope, twice as cool. So we have A, B, D, E, G, A. Next one, we have B, we're starting on B, we do, do B, D, E, G, A, B. Okay, and you'll look at these notes, like check out the shape of these, you know, phrases and these lines, because they're shapes you don't normally play. That's a pentatonic scale, just inverted in a way. Okay, so we have the first one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Next one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Next one. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Same thing. Okay, so next one, uh, our next note of our pentatonic scale uh, will be G. We did G, A, B. Now let's go to D. So let's figure out, you know, those notes in D. Remember the notes, G, A, B, D, E. Okay, so we have D, E. We got G, A, B, and then back to D, okay? So we have D, E, A, A uh, G, A, sorry, <laughs> B, D. Da, 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 da. So um, that's a nice little. I like to play that on the five. That's like a nice little cool lick to play right on the five, like a suspended. That's a nice little uh, chord you play on the five, like the uh, the R. Kelly, like the. Anyway, the next one we gotta play our E. Um, we start on the E, so we have G, A, B, D. E, which is our last one. So the last one you can start here because uh, yeah, here you have to do a bunch of shifting. Uh, if you start it down here on this on the second fret of, on the E here, so I want to start it here on the A string uh, seventh fret. So let's pick out our notes again, right? So we have uh, what, what are our notes? G, A, B, D, E. So if we're starting on E. We need. Yeah, 
So I'm getting carried away, guys. But anyway, if you guys notice, that last one, that E, is actually a minor pentatonic scale, which is crazy, right? So we have we have the same formation or the same notes or the same characters of a minor pentatonic scale, but we're doing a major pentatonic scale exercise. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the relative major and relative minor, we've talked about that several times, even talking about with this talking about that with the circle of fourths. Uh, circle of fifths to try to figure out what that relative major and relative minor is. If you read the chart, you can see what note is in relation to a major key or a minor key. So same thing. So if you're a G major, you can actually play E. If I can play it right, the E minor pentatonic scale right on top of that. to that you can actually play around with the e man e minor pentatonic scale so all together let's let's kind of let's let's map it out let's do it all together so we have g major let's the first one let's take that off <laughs> on the a on the b Back up to the top. 